Welcome to another episode, episode two of Love, Love C Dialogue. Dialogue. It's the word, man. I know y'all ain't think we was coming back this fast. I already know y'all did. I know they did. I, I know y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't think so. They didn't think so. <laughs> How you doing, babe? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Yeah. I've been off the last couple of days. Ready for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm just so thankful right now. Like, so full of thanks. You know? Me too. Yeah. Me too. We're going to get into that too a little bit. Yeah. So, a highlight of our week, man. We went to, a, uh, we went to one of my partner's birthday parties. This past weekend, fiftieth, fiftieth birthdays. We got to put that out there. Fifty, because that's a blessing, y'all. Fifty. That that is a that is a milestone. Yes. So shout out to Heathy, man. It was a beautiful, beautiful, classy. Yes, it party. Was. Yeah, it was. It was right. It was. Let me tell y'all something, man. When Heathy first hit me up and said, "Pug, look, this is what I want to do for my fiftieth birthday." He said, I want you to put the fly on the hood line. We coming out. We dress into a press, all black. I'm like, cool. But you know, I don't even think I got the memo. Because <laughs> I read the flyer. Yeah. I shared the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really? this, was, this was probably two months before the party came. Yeah. And I got in my head like, man, I'm finna be, I'm finna be shy. Okay. I'm finna be fly. We went all black. I said, I'm going to wear some black slacks. I got my black stasis. I ran across this black and um, black and gray sweater. Mm-hmm. Had my black and gray fedora. I was like, man, hey, I'm going to come with it. The day of, y'all. <laughs> the day of. Not a week before. The day of. My guy called me in the morning. I'm already. I'm in. A, I'm on another mission because I'm told. I told y'all. I'm confident about what I'm gonna wear. I'm, a, I'm gonna look good tonight. Yes. That's that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Can't wait to see my fellas. I'm gonna be fly. We gonna be fly together, dressed to impress. And my guy called me, man. I pick up the phone. He said, "Do you know these Negroes wearing tuxedos?" <laughs> I, I said, "What?" He said, yeah, they talking about wearing tux, man. Uh, DJ called me, told me he got his tux. They wearing tuxedos, man. He said, I knew it said ball style. I said, it said what? Remember, remember <laughs> I told y'all. posted the flyer, y'all. I posted the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> all I remember was seeing all black attire, dressed to impress. But, babe, before you finish. Yeah. I got to tell you, like I tell people. Reading is fundamental. So, but it was two different flyers, just to be fair. It was two different flyers because he had to change the the location of the place. It was a different location at first. So I thought, you know, the second one, you know, I skimmed over the flyer. Saw those two, dressed to to impress, all black. I saw the new location. Cool, I got it. He called me that morning, and, and I felt like a, what my mama would say, a wet bird. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, they wearing what? <laughs> Suddenly, I felt like I was about to be underdressed. Suddenly? Suddenly. <laughs> I instantly yeah. felt like, because he was like, I got a tux at the house. If I can still fit it, I'm rocking that. I'm like, so that's two niggas with tuxes. <laughs> I'm just being honest with y'all what I was thinking. I was like, oh, man. I said, I don't know, man. I don't know about getting no tux on the same day. I never had to do that. But uh, I'll holler back at you. I'll see, what I, I'll see what I can do. If not, I'm just going to rock what I was rocking. So uh, I wasn't settled in my spirit. So when I got off the phone with Josh, he called my man. He was like, hello? I said, what up, man? I said, man, what you wearing tonight? I'm hearing Negroes wearing tuxedos. He said, yeah, I got mine. I got a tux. So you can imagine how I'm feeling now. 
I heard DJ got a tuck. Josh said he wanted a tux. Man man wanted a tux. I got some slacks and a sweater. <laughs> so real quick though, I text Sean, asked Sean what he was wearing. He told me a black suit. I said, man, they talking about wearing tuxes tonight. So I called a tuxedo spot right here in Maryville. I said, is it impossible to get a same day tux? I never had to do this, but I was just wondering. She said, it's not impossible. We got your size in stock. We can make it happen. I said, I'll be up there in about an hour. Sean called me back within that time period. He said, man, I was gonna wear a black suit, but if they wearing tuxes, uh, what can we get tuxes from? I said, man, I'm on my way up here to Maryville. They told me they can do same day. He said, I'll meet you there, cuz. So long story short, I got right. I got a tux. Sean met me there. He got a tux. So we all fitted. We ready to go. The lady in there was so nice. She got us right. I, I was truthful with her. I told her. I said, man, listen, ma'am, I need a tux for the night. I called you about an hour ago. I said, I really, I guess I didn't read the flyer that good because all my guys said they wearing tuxes tonight. <laughs> she laughed at me. Uh, but she helped us out. She was very helpful. But we got to the venue that evening. About an hour before I got there, I was real... I just felt some kind of way, y'all, because, like I said, 50 years is a milestone. A great milestone. And the kind of guys that we was, you don't see many of us make it to be 50. Free, alive. Um, trying to do the right thing, yes. you know, so I was already emotional because a lot of us didn't make it here to see this. And so I felt, I started feeling some kind of way about an hour before. And then it was after I got there and seeing how beautiful it was, I seen some guys, I seen some people in general that I haven't seen in like 20 plus years. Um, so I felt real emotional. I don't know I was antisocial for a minute, man, because I was sitting there just trying to get myself together. How did you feel when you walked in? It was beautiful. Um, it was a table set up, um, like in memory of all the fellas they lost along the way. Yeah. And because I've been with them for so long, 30 years, like I've been with him for 30 years, but I've been with his guys for 30 years. So we're <laughs> all family, you know what I mean? Like those are my brothers too. Um, I was just super emotional. Like I, he came and got me so I could look at the table. And as I'm walking and I realize where we were going and I see the table, I'm like, I can't do this. And I just, oh my goodness, I was messed up. So if I was messed up, I can imagine, like he knew them before I did, so I can imagine how he was. So it was it was a beautiful, beautiful night. I'm just glad um, to be a part of it, you know, just to be a part of this phase of memories, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like I said, 50 is a milestone to be Come on, let's keep it real, y'all. You know, as black folks, as long, you know, when we get together in big numbers, mm -hmm. it's usually for a bad occasion. People will stop what they're doing, what they got going on, if a loved one passes and people have to fly and drive into town. We make it happen. But what we say every time we do this, right? We say we got to stop meeting up like this. We got to start getting together when it's good times involved. We got to make some good memories. So this was just one of those times where when he called me and told me what he wanted to do, he told me it was for his 50th. I said, I don't care what I got going on. I need to be there. Yeah. I need to make that happen because we do got to stop and make stuff um, and make it for the good things and not meet up on bad terms all the time. We just got to change the way we do things as a people and as a community. And I'm all for that. And I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't miss that night because the love in the room, it was overwhelming, y'all. Mm. 
like you could choke on it. It was overwhelming. I'm talking about it wasn't just our neighborhood neither. It was other neighborhood, other guys, other uh, females that came, classmates that came that I haven't seen in a long time. We haven't been under the same roof in in so many years, like over a decade. And I'm like, man. The was, love, the realness, man, it was. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. I really can't even say that enough. Um, I ain't really want the night to end when it ended. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Like, cause we we don't even go out like that, y'all. We don't. <laughs> we don't go nowhere, so it have to be a special occasion to get us out like that. And I spent some unexpected money. You, <laughs> you know, we got stuff going on. You know, as, as y'all do too. You know, we don't like to spend money we ain't account for. I had to stop what I'm doing to go get me a tux, but I had to do that. I was gonna do that for my guy, um, just so I could be there. And sharing that moment with him. And, and it was beautiful. So that's all I wanted to say about that. 50 years, I'm thankful to be alive to see that and witness that with him. I'm not quite 50 yet, but I'm just thankful just to share that moment with him, man. He, you know, like I said, people like us coming from where we come from, you don't get many of us to see that moment. Yeah. So beautiful. So, speaking of being thankful, it's, it's Thanksgiving. It'll probably be Thanksgiving by the time you guys view this. So, how, how was your Thanksgiving growing up? Let's go through the, through the history. Was it so, always? So, Thanksgiving growing up, I can remember like my mom and my great grandmother, and that's. <laughs> So I grew up in the house with my mom, my grandmother, and my great grandma. Three. Um, three generations. Yeah. Three generations of powerful women. Powerful women, black women. Yes. <laughs> and um, but it was just an amazing experience just being in the uh, presence of three powerful women. And what I mean is like they all knew they were powerful and they all had something to say. <laughs> mm. So, um, holidays, I can remember my mom and my great grandmother, not so much my grandma. My grandma was like, she had her things that she liked to cook, but she wasn't a kitchen type of person. Mm. My great grandmother was the one that had the big machine on the side of the table. You know, they had real wood tables back then. Okay. And she would do uh, cha-cha and beets and stuff. Just to give you a little bit of backstory of, of the cooking that went on in my family. So Thanksgiving, like, they were doing it all. The homemade banana pudding. Not this stuff they make it today when you put it in the refrigerator, let it chill for so long. No. Yeah. With the meringue on top that was baked in the oven. Mm. That kind of banana pudding. The peach cobblers. The, the uh, sweet potato pie the pound cakes, like they did it all. The the German chocolate cakes, the ham, the turkey, the dressing, the mac and cheese, like they did it all. So I came from a long line of cooking women. They gifted with the hands too, y'all. Yeah. They gifted with yeah. the kitchen. And I remember the holidays, like we would have the big bowls of fruit and nuts sitting out with a nutcracker right there and you can go get you an apple, you can get the pecans, the walnuts, and, and crack them and eat them. And it was just such a, a lovely time. There was music going, and my mom's an only child, but I had, uh, she had tons of cousins. Okay. And then she grew up with them like sisters and brothers. So they would come over. Sometimes y'all would be ridiculous at, at uh, 12 o'clock at midnight, and they come knock on our door. We in the bed, and holidays. So they would get up, and they start party all over again, but we loved on each other. We we shared those holidays together and had plenty of memories and things I will never forget, you know. Um, yeah, I hate that, that uh, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. 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 So you had a house full. Yeah. That people would always drop by. Mm -hmm. That's how it was when I was growing up, too. See, I stayed in a neighborhood where... Everybody kind of knew everybody. Mm -hmm. And my household was a full house. 
My grandmother had 10 kids. She had seven girls. So you can imagine how crowded the kitchen might have been. Absolutely. Um, everybody was doing something. Somebody was cleaning the grain. Somebody was uh, doing the dressing. It was people, you know, baking the cakes. Uh, it was always good eating in our house. and But it wasn't always seconds. But on holidays, you best believe it was seconds and thirds and leftovers. You know how we do leftovers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but grandma going to make sure somebody eating. Yes. You ate yet? You got a plate? <laughs> and you taking a plate with you, too. <laughs> yeah. That's how we do in the black community, right? So that's how it was for us. Our door was a revolving door. Mm-hmm. People constantly coming by. Um, not just, like I told you, we had a house full, but not just uh, our house, our household, but our neighbors, yeah. um, cousins coming through. My father stayed up the street on the next block, so they would come down, or I had the pleasure also to walk out my side door and walk up the street to a whole nother household full of Thanksgiving meals, <laughs> which was at my other grandmama house yeah. that I called Big Mama. So, um, and then, like I said, we I lived. I come from a neighborhood that was a community. I can go in anybody's house. You get tired of being offered food at some point, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like I just ate, and I come from the era of uh, Thanksgiving where everybody was cooking at their house. So you try to you try to plan out how you gonna spend your day. <laughs> and as I got older. I don't do this no more. I don't be running around all day on the mm-hmm. holidays, but mm-hmm. you kind of plan out like I'm not going to eat that much here. I'm not going to eat that much here. I'm just going to nibble here, eat a little bit there because I don't want to be, you know, some some of us get offended when you when you don't, when you turn no, down their yeah. food, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't understand yeah. that you've been eating all day and eating everywhere. Everywhere you go, somebody offering you food. Mm-hmm. But see, that's, that's the beauty of, uh, of our, our neighborhood, our community, our families, where we come from. Our culture. Our culture. That's the beauty Absolutely. of it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I miss that, too. It, it's kind of more laid back, more quiet. People has gotten... Some people has gotten away from doing Thanksgiving for various reasons. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this year we wanted to do something different. Yeah. Um, I had to realize that our daughter has her own child now. She wants to create her own memories yeah. and new traditions. Yeah, I just wanted you know to respect the fact that um, she wants to do that, and um, hoping that she would take some of those things that she learned growing up, you know, with our families because we've been together for so long. There were times when we would just com- combine both of the families together yeah. and enjoy the holidays. And then there were those times when my family was doing their thing and his family were doing those things. We were between homes. Mm-hmm. So this year, because my family is in Texas, my mom, my sisters, um, my brother is in Indianapolis, yeah. um, we're going to travel to Indianapolis and I am going to enjoy cooking dinner with my daughter. Now, I know it's like, her daughter, she's a great cook. Cause she learned from the long lineage of cooking in your family in my family yeah, yeah so she's a great cook so i'm excited about that and i said you know instead of us trying to get her to come home for christmas and i'm disappointed because she has things that she wants to do we are going to do christmas with them on black friday yeah. so we're going to do thanksgiving and then turn around and do christmas the next day right. and i'm so excited we got um gifts planned and I bought us um, some surprise thing. Well, by the time it comes out, like she would know already, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I bought her and I like matching pajamas for the night before and we're going to do cookies that we, as we've always done when she was a little bitty girl, yeah. she always wanted cookies from Santa Claus. Of course, she knows at 30 years old, 28. Yeah, yeah, 28. 28. And I'm giving her two years She'll be 29 next year. Right? <laughs> She knows there's no Santa Claus, but I want to keep some of those traditions and fun things going. So, yeah, we are doing that, and yeah. I'm so excited about it. Um, her um, 
fiance's family's going to come over and have Thanksgiving dinner with us. And they're excited. And I really like them. Yeah. Like, they are. They're good people. Good group. Like, they are wonderful. Um, so, I'm excited to spend that time and, and create new traditions. Because, you know, as you um, go, you grow. Yeah. And things change, and we have to change with the seasons and the time. So yeah, some things you got to evolve yeah. with. I'm you excited. You got to adapt to the change, and yeah. that's that's a this is a good change. You know, we're not opposed to it. Yeah. We we know she's grown. We got to respect her space, yeah. her family yeah. that she's creating, all of that. So we're excited. We're gonna go kick it and hang out and have a good time, have yeah. a good conversation, yeah. good food. Um, I'm gonna enjoy them being in the kitchen together. Uh, you know, just doing what they do, talking, yeah. music, and, and and just bouncing, cooking ideas off each other, I guess, you know. So, and our daughter is, is probably just as excited or more excited than she is. Because she's calling every other day like, uh, what, what else you need? What else we need? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She want to make sure she got everything that we want, our hearts desire. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So she told me. Um, so of course we're gonna have traditional turkey dressing, mac and cheese. Um, I'm doing some lamb chops, and she was like, "Ma, I make some mean fried chicken." And I was like, "You do?" <laughs> so she went and bought some chicken. She's gonna make some her mean fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have the dressing, the mac and cheese, the potato salad, all the good stuff, the sweet potato pies, the yams. And yeah. Yeah. So I, I get to eat some of my baby girls cooking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like soul food cooking, like Thanksgiving food cooking. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, too, because I heard she can burn pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, we do the video chat whenever we on the uh, phone and she making meals. I'd be like, let me see that. Yeah. You know, I'd be, I'd be messing with her. I'd be like, let me see what you're cooking over there. What you doing over there? Right. Oh, that look good, baby. I like that. I, that look real good. A fiance in the background, it is good, Pops. It is good. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. Okay. Yep, yep. So, yeah, yeah. We, we're excited about that, man. So, yeah, we're going to make some good, some new memories. Yeah. For Thanksgiving this year. Yeah, it's been time with little year. man. I haven't, yeah. we haven't seen him since your birthday. Yeah. So, it's been a little over a month, so excited to see him. Yeah. Of course, as always, when we get on the call, on the video, we are always talking about him, but he's doing New things every day, and yeah. now he's um, he just will come up and kiss you for no reason, and just say Mwah. So I'm excited. I want some love, y'all. I want some my legend <laughs> love. I can't wait to see him tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yeah. 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 So that's what we're doing for Thanksgiving, and uh, by the time when you know when Christmas come, we'll do we'll do Christmas here with the rest of our family here. Yeah. So we'll do that. Um, if she decide to come, cool. Yeah. If not, cool. Yep. Because we do, we've been and done Christmas around Thanksgiving time, um, just in case yes. she wanted to stay there. Yeah. Do that. So it's no pressure. No pressure. No pressure either way. So that's a beautiful thing. But you thing. know what I'm most excited about this year? What's that? With this new job, y'all. What? I am off from the 21st of December, and I'm going to go back until the 2nd of January. I am so in love. <laughs> yeah. and, and I just got a little streak, uh, a little streak of jealousy oh right my there, goodness. right? Just, just, just a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. But that's a great thing. It is. That's a great thing. It is. You get a chance to bring in the new year. Yeah. Uh, set the tone for the new year. Relax. Yeah. Get your, you know, get your mind right. All absolutely, of that. Absolutely. You know, de-stress. Yeah. Relax. So I've been off the last couple of days. I took, um, we were off Wednesday through Friday, but I took Monday and Tuesday. And I was able to put up our Christmas decorations yeah. and make the house festive. And it was, I, I love it when, when he's happy, when he's coming in like, oh, it's festive in here. I love that. And so um, mm -hmm. I was able to do that. And um, I'm just ex super excited, y'all. I'm excited. Cause you know what? Every day is a blessing. Every day that God gives us is a blessing. So people say, you know, oh, I can't stand this cold weather. But you know what? 
I found myself lately saying, I don't like it either. But then I turn around and I say, I but I appreciate every every season God give me. So right now, so, I'm just ooh. So thank that's, you. that's a great segue. Yeah. What are you thankful for? What all are you thankful for right now? I because am. we know we can, as people, as human beings, we can always find something to complain about. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of human nature. Or, or, or just act, just being in your flesh to just complain mm -hmm. and, and, and not show gratitude for nothing. Yeah. Um, I try not to be like that on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to be mindful of my blessings. So what are you thankful about? Man, there's so many, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a long list. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I hope y'all ready. Yeah, First ready. of all, I'm thankful for thankful for our relationship. I'm thankful for the growth and how far we've come. I'm thankful for our daughter and our grandson. Okay. God has blessed us tremendously um, beyond measure more than I, I could have ever thought or imagined. imagined. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful for, of course, my job and transportation um this new job is like beyond me you know i told you i tried to give it away and god was like no and i'm so glad that this is such a blessing i'm learning more things about myself than i i knew like i'm learning so much and i'm learning about myself so it's a, a double whammy right now but it's it's all amazing yeah. i'm thankful for my mom and my mother-in-law just having two mothers people don't have that you know I'm thankful for um, my friends my community you know my accountability partners it's like no or there's job marriage kids whatever I'm yeah. feeling I go to them and they're like now since you know you shouldn't be acting like that you know you shouldn't have said that I appreciate them I'm so thankful for them I'm thankful for our pastor like he's super young <laughs> But he's amazing, y'all. He rocks. And then he's our brother, too. Yeah. And so it's like, man, I'm so thankful for our, our, our pastor and our church family. I'm thankful for for our home. You yeah. know, I'm thankful for our home. I'm thankful for our neighbors, our neighborhood. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thankful to wake up every day. And you know how the old folks used to say, clothed in my right mind. Yeah. But I am thankful to be clothed and in my right mind. You know, to be healthy and feeling good. And yeah, you know, once you get in your 40s, you feel some aches and pains that you didn't know was there. But you know what? I'm thankful for those aches and pains because that means I can feel. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm thankful for, to be oh, able man. to still learn. It's so many things I'm thankful for, y'all. My eyes, nose, lips. Like, people can't taste. People yeah. had COVID and they was like, I can't taste nothing. Can't smell nothing. So I'm so thankful that I can taste and smell. <laughs> Man, I am You just, really do got a long list, don't I'm you? telling you. I'm, I'm so thankful. I am so thankful for my siblings. You know, like, I'm thankful for my siblings. We, 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 I love all of my siblings. Like, people can't say that. Some people beef with their siblings, they ain't talking to them. But I'm talking to all of my siblings. Yeah. I love my, <laughs> we are all different in our own way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that it is what it is. I'm different, too. So <laughs> they got to deal with my crazy personality as I have to deal with theirs. And it's just like, I'm so thankful. And last but not least, I'm thankful for those that um, that have gone before us. The grandmothers that are no longer here. My dad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful for you. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for our relationship. just the many uh, the many years that we've had together not many people can say that uh, 19 years of marriage but 30 years together knowing each other so we kind of grew up together you've seen maybe three different versions of me before you've seen it, the me that is right now before yeah. you yeah. right so I'm thankful for uh, 
thankful for my daughter, of course, but I'm thankful for my grandchild because not many guys my age, coming from where I come from, uh, live to see their grandchild or in the free world to spend time with their grandchild or grandchildren. So I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for being in my right mind also. I'm thankful that I got all of my needs, um, even most of my wants. Absolutely. You know, yes. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. That is yeah. a that is a blessing. I'm thankful that I got reliable transportation to get me to and from places I need to go. I am thankful for good friends. Just told you guys I went to a party. Uh, for my guy's 50th birthday, but what I didn't say is there were so many people that was in that party and that I have in my life today that dates all the way back to elementary school. Like we was real, we got a real brother and sisterhood. I mean like brotherhood and then the young ladies, like those are like my sisters yeah. from way, way, way back. I'm talking elementary school, so. Uh, it's hard to find real friendship these days. Yeah. You know, and these are people that I don't see all the time, don't talk to all the time. But when we do see each other and talk to each other, we pick up like we like we ain't missed a beat. Just like that. Mm -hmm. These are people that I can let in my house and I can sit down and rest. Not many people can say that. All you hear about today is like you can't trust nobody, especially when you hear something bad in the news. Uh, Would somebody get hurt, somebody get killed, beat up by somebody that they knew or trusted. That's why you see people all on social media. That's why you can't trust nobody. I don't got no friends. Your, your circle got to be small. And my circle is not that big, but I come from a long... I come from two neighborhoods, first of all. And I'm still tight with most of all my, all my guys that I came up with. Not many friendships date... 40 plus years, you know, so I'm thankful for that, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I am thankful for uh, my relationship with God today. Absolutely. You know, I'm thankful for that. Yes. I'm, thank you, I'm thankful for the gifts and talents that he's given me. Uh, I'm also thankful for my church family. If it wasn't for my, if it wasn't for our church family, I probably wouldn't be who I am right now because I got to have I got to surround myself with great examples uh, of guys and, and couples that are also married um, and I got to learn from them and, and we got to uh, you know feed off one another and, and build one another so um, I'm thankful for my pastor as well he is younger than us but you know what it is? I respect the calling that God got on that brother's life. And I respect the love that he has for people. You know, it's easy to say one thing and do another. It's easy to memorize some scriptures or, or have the gift to preach. Yes. But it's a whole nother thing when you got the heart and, and the walk that match your talk. You know, that's a whole different thing. So I'm thankful that I, I get to walk alongside with a brother who really cares about people, cares about uh, God, his relationship with God, cares about his family, to be young in his 30s. Um, but got his mind, got his mind and his heart together, you know. And we all, we all got room to grow and learn. That's the beauty of life. You can never say... I know all there is to know. Mm -hmm. You always got to wake up. You always should be waking up ready to learn something, ready to be taught, remain teachable. That's how I am today, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe God can use anybody. Yeah. So I don't care. I'm not the person who say I can't learn from a homeless person yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm not homeless. Yeah. I'm not the person that say I can't learn from a, a child because I know everything. I know God can use whoever he wants to use to get his message. That's, that's the wisdom of having a relationship with God and remaining teachable. So I'm thankful that 
I have that mindset as well. I don't think I know everything. Um, I'm thankful that my mother is still here. We got a great relationship. I could go on and on, y'all. Yeah. I could go on and on. Yes. But I'm going I'm to stop there. Um, but I'd rather count blessings any day to count money. Oh, yes. <laughs> Praise God. I'd rather yes. count blessings any day to count money because as long as long as I know I'm blessed and I'm blessed by the most high, mm -hmm. he going to make sure I got everything I need. That's money, uh, whatever I need, because he know we need money to survive. So what the scripture say? He take care of the uh, birds. Yes. Yeah. What makes you think he's not going to take care of you? You said you thankful for the aches and pains. I am. You know what that remind me of? What? I think it's uh First Thessalonians five. <laughs> Maybe five eighteen, but it says Give thanks in all circumstances. Mm -hmm. All circumstances. Mm -hmm. Not some, not a few, but all. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Sometimes that's hard. When you're going through something. When you're going through something that don't feel good, it don't look good. But God still wants us to give thanks. Yes. Give thanks. Um, we got to kind of change our perspective. Instead of saying, why me? Say, why not me? Yeah. You know? Ask, ask that question. Why not me? If he allowed his son to go through what he went through for us, ain't nobody suffered more than Christ. Mm -hmm. So if we got to do a little suffering to learn a lesson, we got to do a little suffering to be better on the other side of it. There's things to be thankful about. You know, you know, we got to, you got to change your perspective. And I know you guys sit here and listen to the things that we say we were thankful about, but I'm pretty sure you got something to be thankful about too. For sure. You know, For sure. even if, even if you're, even if you're single, separated, divorced, look over your life. Mm -hmm. Look over your life. I bet you, you still got something to be thankful about. Maybe you had a disease. Maybe you had an illness um, and you was worried. But God brought you through that thing. For sure. You know, maybe you were shot or shot at. Mm -hmm. Could have died. Yes. But the bullets missed you or they didn't kill you. You still here. You got something to be thankful for. Maybe you don't got a girlfriend or a wife that love you right now. Maybe you got a mother that do. Maybe you got kids that do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't have anybody. Just say you don't have anybody, hypothetically. But you got your right mind. Yes. You got all your limbs. You can see. You got a good job or a decent job. There's always some to be thankful for. Yeah. Um, there's a saying that says, it could have been worse. There's always somebody who might who's probably doing worse than you. Mm -hmm. You know. Thank God in all circumstances. We said on the last podcast, sometimes when you're going through something, you just got to praise your way through it. Mm -hmm. Not just pray. Pray is good, too. You definitely got to pray. Pray without ceasing. Yeah. But also praise your way through it. Mm -hmm. You know, thank them. Praise them. Put on some music to get yourself out of a funk, especially if you're feeling yourself going into a depression or woe is me mode. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're throwing a, a pity party right now, I don't want no invitation. I'm not coming. I know, that's right. I'm not buying no tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of that. Because we've all had pity parties before. Didn't change nothing. Don't change nothing. No. <laughs> Worry, stress, sadness, crying, it don't change nothing. What does change things is praying. Praising, mm -hmm. changing your perspective. Okay, God, what is you trying to show me yeah. through this situation? Mm -hmm. 
What are you saying to me in this situation? What do you want me to do about this situation? And don't be stubborn when you get the answers. Because the answers could come from anywhere. Don't be stubborn. If you ask God those questions, you can get it through his word. You can get it audible from from like a straight download from him to you. You can get it in a vision, in your dreams, mm -hmm. the answers to your prayers, or you can get it through somebody like me or her, or one of your kids, or just driving and seeing a sign somewhere. Or he might speak to you through a song somewhere. You know what I mean? But there's always something to be thankful for. You know? Mm -hmm. Look at your life, y'all. That's what we're doing for Thanksgiving this week. We're going to kick it, and we're going to hang out. Mm -hmm. And I know there's some super woke folks somewhere <laughs> saying, I don't know why black folks still celebrate Thanksgiving. They celebrating murder. They celebrating this and that. Hey, we know the history yeah. of Thanksgiving. But I can guarantee you, most black folks, especially the black folks that I know, I ain't never heard them sat down at no table and, 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 and laughed about how the Native Americans was done in this country and and and, and that was their focus on Thanksgiving. That's, that's not it. Mm -mm. That's not it. And ask yourself this. When is it ever a bad time to connect with your family? Yeah. It's not. Especially in these times. It's never a bad time to connect with your family and show some love. If you just share a meal, share some wisdom with them, share some laughs, play some games, but have fun with your family, man. Life is short for real. Mm -hmm. And people is cutting each other off left and right. Yes, they are. Even family. You know, especially family. Yes. People will cut family off so quick and then be hanging with a stranger and, and praising the stranger like they've been there their whole life, like they shed a bloodline, all of that. But it cut their whole cousin, sister, brother mm -hmm. off just like that. And then expect forgiveness from God. I'm gonna leave y'all with this too. And you and please jump in if you if you got something to say. But if it's hard for you to express some kind of gratitude during this season, maybe ask God to search your heart. Yeah. You search your own heart and see if there's anybody you need to forgive. Yeah. Maybe you need to, 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 to loose yourself by forgiving somebody or some people. Because it's hard to, to, to bask and bathe in that gratitude and that thankfulness. Mm -hmm. If you're holding art against somebody. If you got some kind of bitterness in your heart. Forgive them, y'all. Forgive them. Free yourself. Free yourself and allow yourself to be grateful for the things that God does have going on in your life. For the things that you do have and for the things that are going right. Be grateful for those things. I agree. Absolutely. So I just want to leave y'all with that. Um, it's another verse too I want to share. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. We're not going to hold y'all too much longer. Just want y'all to be thankful, man. Okay, Ephesians 5.20. Give thanks always and for everything to God the Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks always and for everything. That almost sounds like the other verse, don't it? It does. Right? Give thanks in all circumstances. In all circumstances, yeah. And then in this verse, he says, give thanks always, always and yeah. for everything. Yeah. So give thanks always and for everything. That's even during the bad times. Mm -hmm. Even during the bad times. You know why? Because you're confident that God is going to get you through it. It's because you know who your God is. Don't tell me or the world how big your problems is. 
Tell us how big your God is. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. You got to be thankful. That's why it's important to praise him for all things and through everything. Give thanks. Regardless of what you're going through. That's what faith is all about. Even if it's looking bad right now. Yeah. You can see the goodness on the other side. Mm -hmm. Because you know you got a good God that's going to get you there on mm -hmm. the other side. He's going to bring you through. So that's why it's important to give thanks. And uh, it's this Christian artist that I be listening to. His name Dayton. Shout out to Dayton, man. He got a dope uh, mixtape that dropped about a week ago. And I've been banging that thing the last few days. But he got this song called God Flex. And the hook. The hook says something like this. Uh. Um, the hook say something like, now my whole life is a God flex, ay, I was caught up in my nonsense, ay, and he pulled me out of darkness, ay, now look at all that I accomplished, yeah, my whole life is a God flex, <laughs> God That's flex, good. right, be thankful, man, especially if you plugged in to the almighty, yeah. if, if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, your whole life should be a God flex, be thankful. Be thankful that he pulled you out of your nonsense. Mm -hmm. When you used to be tied down in that darkness. Now look around and look at all of what you accomplished. Your whole life is a God flex. Be thankful for that, y'all. Amen. That's good stuff. 100, man. Until next time. We'll see y'all soon, though. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace.